Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. What's up, everybody? The Nintendo Beast here. Today, I've got another package, which means it is time for another My Nintendo Platinum Rewards unboxing and review video. Let's dive into it. So today's shipment is three different items, all of which are Pikmin 4 related items, I believe. So let's check these bad boys out. We're going to go smallest to biggest in size. So the first thing we're starting with, uh, which is kind of bent up. Luckily, the actual thing didn't get bent up. These Pikmin 4 stickers. Stickers, decals. Let me see if it actually if it specifies. Not that I really know the difference. I think it's a sticker set. Um, so it looks like there are two stickers. The front is the Pikmin themselves. And then if you flip it over to the back, you've got Ochi. And, uh, I don't know if that's a playable character. It's not my playable character, but it, it is one configuration of a playable character, I suppose. Uh, and then a bunch of Pikmin also riding on the back of Ochi. Let me pop this open. I do want to note that it, the packaging did come bent like this. Uh... Luckily, it didn't, like I said before, it didn't actually get the stickers. The stickers look like they're fine, but uh, the actual packaging is a little bit messed up, but it is what it is. So if you're a collector like myself, this is resealable. It's the same kind of concept as most other ones. It looks different. It looks nice because it has the, the Pikmin 4 plastic tag or plastic uh, part on the top rather than an info card insert. Um, but it does pop open at the bottom like a resealable sandwich baggie. Uh, and yeah, so here it is. They are just these two stickers, as I showed you earlier. Um, so they come packaged in a way that you can actually see both of the stickers. Let me try to hold them in a way that you could do that as well. Um, you got your Ochi and your Pikmin squad, and then you got your Pikmin squad, so... Pretty cool stickers, kind of underwhelming that there are only two of them. I forget how much I spent. I think it was only like a 200 point reward. Uh, so it wasn't ridiculously expensive or anything. Still kind of disappointing that there are only two stickers. I mean, they're stickers. You know what I mean? They're just stickers. You can, you can probably could have put like five of them in here and made it worth a little bit more of my while, but it's, it's all good. Next up here, we have a Pikmin 4 shoe charm set, uh, which is really, really cute, believe it or not. Um, I guess the, I can only assume, I don't know, so I don't, they're not like, my first impression was going to be like, they're for Crocs, right? I thought these were going to be guys that you could stick on your Crocs. It doesn't seem like it, and I'll show you what it's, it's rocking with. That's the front here. You have a red, a blue, and a yellow Pikmin, uh, and then here's the back of them. I'll pop them open in a second here, uh, but I don't know if you can really see that. They look more so like you would thread a shoelace through them. So they are a little bit more universal than if they had been just like um, the charms that you can use for Crocs. And once again, the same as the last one, uh, collectors do not fret. I know it looks like uh, there are staples there. It is one of these guys with like the, the stapled cardboard thing on top. But there's also a little resealable. Um, it's like a resealable sandwich baggie again. Uh, you can pop this open and reseal them and, you know, still have it on display as it arrived, looking good. You've got the saucy little red Pikmin here. You've got the, uh, the lazy little yellow guy. And then you've got the curious looking blue Pikmin as well. No, I don't know if you can really see this, if it's in, if it's in focus, if it's even visible, like with me in the background. Uh, I apologize, but uh, as you can see on the back there a little bit, this this is the black clip. Um, it is literally like a clip. It's not like um, it's not like a super easy one, like a clothespin where you push on one side and it pops open and you can slide something through it. Uh, I would say it's it looks like kind of a bear to open. I would almost advise against it. Um, I would almost say that it, it'd be more beneficial just to thread a shoelace right through it uh, in comparison. So that's that's what I would probably recommend. I'm not totally sure what the correct way to go about doing that is. The actual charms themselves, like the plastic seems on the back, the clip 
feels nice and sturdy. Um, I personally would get nervous. I would feel like if I play with that a little bit too much, if I'm trying to like tear at it, it might pull away from the charm itself. Um, I imagine it's just like, I don't know if it's somehow screwed on there or if it's just super glued on there. I'm not totally sure. I wouldn't test the theory. Um, it seems very sturdy, but again, I just wouldn't push it. Uh, but with that said, the actual charm itself, it's like the same kind of rubbery material that we've seen on a lot of uh, keychain medallions in the past. Uh, it's a nice, nice quality. Uh, the back is just like a, a smooth white, shiny or glossy kind of uh, texture. And the, the front of each one, uh, it is like a, a raised surface um, for the texture or like the, the lining around the eyes, the mouth, the different features of the Pikmin. All of them are the same in that regard, same kind of textured uh, concept. The, uh, the outlines, I'm sorry if the yellow one is a little bit washed out here, uh, are overexposed. Same deal, the texture on the leaves, eyeballs, hands, legs, so forth. Uh, all of that is, uh, is kind of separated by texture and um, raising. And uh, yeah, so there they are back in the packaging, just showing that you can reseal them if you choose to do so, if you're a collector like myself. Um, so there they are back in the packaging. I will say I'm, I'm impressed. Um, I I'm happy, I should say, strictly because I really did think like, oh man, these are, these are going to be for Crocs. I guess it's, I guess it's time for me to get a pair of Crocs. Uh, but I could, if I wanted to, I could pop these on my shoelaces, on my sneakers and just go to work with these. So like, you know, it's, it's cool. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Don't want them to get dirty or messed up or anything. Uh, these are, I'm a collector. These are going to stay in the packaging more likely than not. But with that being said, um, they are, they are more practical than just had they been like the little, uh, I, what are they called? Gibbets, I believe for Crocs. So that's pretty cool. And last but not least here, the biggest item of the bunch a Pikmin for, I believe it's a dish towel, a kitchen towel. It's it's labeled a kitchen towel, but I think a kitchen towel is mostly for doing dishes, right? It comes folded up like this. You can unfold it like this, and you can kind of get a good idea of what this thing is all about. Um, let me show you the back here. I don't know if it has, it does. Uh, so on the back here, you could see just the, the red, the yellow, and the blue Pikmin. Um, if you kind of look at the side here, you can also see that there is an ice Pikmin on there as well. I'm going to pop this over or open. There are also clovers um, all over it, obviously, and, and I'm not sure if there are flowers. We'll see. Uh, looks like there's going to be like a, a green outline to this towel. Let me pop this bad boy open and see what, uh, what all it has printed on it. Largely the same concept as all the other ones. It is a resealable kind of sandwich baggy style packaging. Um, pop that open. This one does, in fact, have the handy-dandy info card, you know, Pikmin 4, uh, kitchen towel, rated e E10 for everyone 10 and up, Nintendo Switch, my Nintendo, yada yada yada. Uh, it is a nice little design. I mean, it's just an info card, but you have your Pikmin, uh, you have Ochi on there, so kind of cool. Uh, and then you get into the main event. It is, it does actually also have the Pikmin 4 logo. On the bottom there I don't know if you could see that uh, but that's pretty cool let me pop this open and see how big so this is like how you would hang it I guess right is it like this you'd hang it off your stove uh, off of you know wherever in your kitchen you hang kitchen towels this is how you would hang it this is the full print here let me back it up a little bit so you can actually see it hopefully I, I imagine it's not all in frame so I'll kind of pan up with it it looks like you got your ice Pikmin, your yellow Pikmin, your red Pikmin, your blue Pikmin. Uh, the back of this thing is just, you know, as you could kind of expect, just like this white. It's kind of it. Very basic. Still have the green trim on it. Um, but the real design is obviously on the front of this bad boy. And again, you got your Pikmin 4 logo. I'd say, uh, I'd say this is a pretty cool towel. Now, let me go on record and state that I don't know what people look for in towels. I look for a towel that can dry things, dry whatever is necessary in that space, right? So maybe you'd be looking for a thicker towel for uh, for washing dishes or for for wiping off counters. I think this would be this would do a great job uh, wiping off counters. It's kind of like a fleece material, I would say. Um, very soft. Uh, it is kind of thin. 
I wouldn't say the quality is is like 10 out of 10. There's definitely even on the front here. I don't know if you can really see it, but there's like uh, some fuzzies on there. I don't know if I could maybe like a first use would get some of that those loose fuzzies off. Again, not the greatest quality ever. The print looks great. The print is of the highest quality, I would say. That looks great. Um, the trim on this thing, the trim isn't just like a colored trim. It's literally like the edges, uh, the edge seams. I want to say the edge stitch, the edge stitches of the towel, and that doesn't look the best. It looks all right. It doesn't look even at all space or on all sides. It looks like it's thinner at some points, thicker at others. I don't know. It it's not something that anybody would really care about, but it's something that I'm just taking note of for the sake of critiquing. Um, and yeah, it is pretty thin. Oh my god. If you guys could, I'm not going to stand up and show you, but if you could see how many, like, little fuzzies are all over my pants right now, it only goes to further solidify, like, how many, like, I, I want to say loose threads. They're not so much loose threads, but they are very much loose pieces of the cloth that are, or fabric that are falling off of this thing. Um, again, I, I suppose that after, like, first use, there's another one on my finger, uh, I suppose after first use, that would all come off, or, like, you wash it once, and before using it, now it all come off. But don't think you're going to just like pull this out of the packaging and just like wash your dishes with it. You're going to have some fuzzy soup bowls and it's not going to be a good time. Alrighty, so it's time here for final thoughts. What is the best in show? What is the worst in show? Let's start with the stickers. The stickers came in kind of damaged packaging, as you can see there. But the actual stickers themselves are fine, so I'm not worried about it. A uh, little bit underwhelming though, because there are only two stickers. And I mean, they're just stickers. So, I mean, you could have packed... A bunch more in there um, I don't know a little bit underwhelming on that note then we have the shoe charms shoe charms don't really have much bad to say about them they're super cool super cute um, and they seem pretty durable they're textured they're nicely designed I like them and uh, and finally we have our kitchen towel kitchen towel same kind of deal not a lot bad to say about it it's a nice big product. Uh, the print on these th on this thing is very very nice. Um, I will say though, opening it up was like opening up a box full of styrofoam. There are little white fuzzies literally all over my pants right now. Um, I imagine those would all come off in first use or first wash or whatever. Uh, but it does make you question the quality of the thing, uh, especially since it is that fleecy material and it's a, it's a very thin fleecy material too. I'd be afraid to run this through the wash and you know, some of the, the actual, like, white fuzzy coming off it is one thing, but having the part of the design come off is another concern altogether. I don't think it would be that, uh, that much of a concern, but it's still there. So for worst in show, I'm gonna have to give it to probably the stickers. Again, I don't know, I don't really remember, uh, how many platinum points I redeemed. I want to say probably, like, 200. I feel like this was probably a, in the 200 platinum rewards points. Uh, price range and there's nothing wrong with the stickers they're they're nice quality prints i love the designs the packaging is nice you they're stickers man they're very basic stickers at that they're not huge stickers they are regular small stickers only two of them and then for best in show i'm gonna have to go with the pikmin 4 shoe charms i have absolutely nothing to, bad to say about these little guys the designs are fun uh, they're not even just like, like for example, the stickers, I don't want to keep, you know, ridiculing the stickers, but you look at this sticker design and it's just all three Pikmin just standing there. Yeah, they have a little bit of pose. The, the, the blue one has hands on hips. Um, but aside from that, they're just the Pikmin designs sitting there. These ones have a little bit of character to them. You know, you have your red Pikmin laying there all saucily. Uh, you have your, your blue Pikmin that looks kind of curious in the face and you have your yellow Pikmin. Uh, that's kind of lounging there. It, they're just they're just fun. They're fun designs. They're well textured. They're they're solid material. Um, they feel durable, and they're functional. And it, it's just it's a really really cool design. A really really cool um, reward. And uh, out of the three, I highly recommend picking this bad boy up.
So with that said, thank you so much for watching another My Nintendo Platinum Rewards unboxing and review video here on the Nintendo Beast channel. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I upload new video content to the channel every single weekday, Monday through Friday of every single week. I also do live streams here on the channel every Saturday beginning at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so you don't want to miss out. Subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications uh, for when I do live streams and when I upload new videos. Also, make sure to smash the like button on this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, I am the Nintendo Beast. Thank you so much for watching.